Alright, I'll try and get it just in frame. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Leon here for the Barbecue and Young Review is here to discuss The Florida Project, a film written and directed by Sean Baker and starring Bria Venate and Brooklyn Prince. The story follows a mother and child as they barely try and keep it together during a summer period right next to supposedly the happiest place on earth, namely Disneyland. This juxtaposition was played throughout the entirety of the film whilst Mooney tries to enjoy her summer, Haley struggles to find the $38 a week needed to pay for the motel turned home money. This is Sean Baker's second major film following the critically acclaimed Tangerine, humbly shot on the iPhone 5S. Do you even remember what that looks like? The structure of this film doesn't follow your typical tropes. Yes, there are a beginning, middle and end, but you follow it mainly for a timeline, the period of time that is summer vacation. I mean, yes, there's plot, but it doesn't follow the life of a character through one arc. This is because you are following the film through the eyes of a six-year-old, not caring about what's going on in the adult world. You do have your typical twists and turns, but they play out through different times throughout the entirety of the film. The best example for this is through the points of no return seen at different stages of the film. So the point of no return is when a character can no longer be the same person for the betterment of themselves or the development of the story, the plot. We see this happen with Mooney, Haley, Jancy, quite a lot of secondary characters just to help thicken the story, the gravitas of the film. It makes it a lot more three-dimensional. This plays with the pace a lot, but having the story develop between interactions with Mooney and the other characters makes for a lot more exciting story. One of the only few times we are given help with exposition, it's in Portuguese, so relying on what you already know about films is pointless. Okay, so this is an iPhone 5 for those who don't know as you can see it has a funny meme from the time standouts or people you should look out for I guess it's the main characters Haley is played by Bria Venate and Mooney is played by Brooklyn Prince a child prodigy that is only six years old yet emotes such visceral feelings you'd think she'd been in the game for ages fun fact about Haley or Bria she was casted via Instagram there is hope for everyone out there I promise you what's really interesting about these two is that they draw a lot of empathy from us despite being very antagonistic of course, I cannot forget to mention Willem Dafoe, or the Green Goblin, or whatever you want to call him. You instantly forget his past acting history. Here, as Bobby, he transforms into this, well, transformative being. Bobby is a teacher, Bobby is a solicitor, he is a provider, he can be helpful, he can also be assertive when he needs to be. Interestingly enough, he doesn't really have a character arc, he just kind of stays the same. Saying that, he does help draw empathy with the other characters, so it's a really top performance from him. The cinematography is beautiful, it's a pastel colour board. Again, because you're looking at this through the eyes of a child, everything is bright and happy, even if there's really bad stuff going on. The world is just your oyster and everything is fun. The cinematographer Alexis Sabe called it a blue candy floss dream undercut heavily with a lot of lemon sorbet, and you definitely get that throughout the entire film. Perfect. So something else of note was a little tips of the hat to Disneyland constantly throughout the film. You had various examples, but it reminded you that there was always something greater on the cusp of this really sad, sad world, despite being so beautifully shot. Again, it just goes to show how Sean Baker immerses himself in a world, and it makes for a really humanist story. I don't really want to say it's immoral, but I guess despite all the bad things, there can be a little good and stuff. Okay, fine, that's immoral, but it's not slapped in your face. It's given to you through very subtle nuance. Themes definitely painted through the film. Can I compare this film to anything else? Not really, because it's quite an art housey film, just made for the mainstream. You can see yourself in some, if not all, the characters. I guess you can compare it to Moonlight last year's smash hit. You also get that same sort of Twilight, hyper-saturated dream. As well as Moonlight, you have kids just running around having fun, aspects of the little rascals. The closest thing to it for our generation would be Phineas and Ferb. There's 104 days of summer vacation. Remember the song? I implore you to go and check it out before it leaves the theatres. There are few films out there that will make you feel this way and there isn't a better way to unlock your inner child.